Hi everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching today. So this week I've got a few things to share with you. First is the latest issue of Papercraft Essentials magazine. With this one here, this is issue 179 and you get this lovely luxury shaker kit. Now I've not even opened this yet, so I'm just gonna see, how do we get in this one? Oh, on the side. So this one's been designed by Simply Made Crafts, which is Helen Griffiths, Griffin, sorry. I always get Christina Griffiths and Helen Griffin. I get the, the Griffin and the Griffiths mixed up. So I'm just gonna, Take it, this is how you do it. Seems a shame to rip into it, but that seems to be the only way in. Oh, that was a fight, anyway. <laughs> there you go, I can still close it up. So, in here, you get everything you need to make a shaker card. So, there will be no doubt exclusive papers. So, let's see, you get 16 scene images, 8 card blanks, 24 foiled sentiments, 54 foiled die cut pieces, 8 die cut window frames, and plus sequins, acetate and foam strips. So if you're someone that struggles with maybe making shaker cards, they have your frames pre-done for you. And you get loads in there. There's an example of one of the cards you can make and you've got some other nice Christmas ones there as well. So 78 pieces inside. So here is some acetate. You've got these bags here of sequins. I love the iridescent clear ones because they just work with everything. And then you have all of your card blanks. These are your windows, they're so cute. You can use these in so many other projects as well, not just for the shaker cards. They're really, really nice. Do like them, and they're white, so obviously they're easy to add your inks to, distress them. You can, uh, yeah, do whatever you want there. Then you get a little pad, which is full of all the strips. So that's one long strip, which is great. And then these are your papers. So these are gonna be, a6 size cards I believe looks like it four by yeah it's about four by six isn't it so then we've got all these background papers you've got this one oh, I like those ones Santa Claus joy laugh snow Merry Christmas starry night Noel we've got these with the snow theme and you've got your antlers brick that's nice so these would be great for new home cards as well it's not just Christmas You've got your like, wood effect there, the decking. There's another festive one. And then you've got these smaller scenes here. I'll have to have a look on how they, oh, these, ah, I see. So this is to look out the window. So your window here will sit perfectly over these. How sweet's that? That's really, really lovely. Just completely transforms those images. And then you sit that on your chosen so there, so say your house has got a wood effect or you, you live in a brick house, I think they're going to look wonderful. So that's those, you get two of those. Oh, and then that's nice. So this is the, the other way now. This is like you're looking in the house. And there's Father Christmas, where you've got the Christmas tree. Really like it, nice. And then I spot some foiling. Lovely. I think it's needed as well because these don't have any foiling in the papers. They're quite matte. It's nice to have that pop. So and you get double there as well. You get the little cat. You could have the cat sitting on the windowsill because he's just the, yeah, look, perfect. And then you've got your Christmas tree. So yeah, they're really, really good. And I think with these kits, I need to almost like schedule in some time to actually work through them because I love them and I, they're quick cards. So they're handy to have. And like I said, some of these I donate to charities once I've made them. So I'm going to pop all that back in its case. You actually get two bits of acetate. There's another one there as well. So it isn't just that one piece. That would be enough for four cards because I imagine, actually no, probably no. You probably get two, four, six. Yeah, that's enough for eight of the cards because of the size of the windows. So that's the lovely kit. And then the magazine does, as always, have lots of inspiration. So you've got inspiration there. I feature in this one as well. I have done, oh look, yeah, they look really, really good. Because you can change the window as well. That's a different window effect. So that one's been made. Love it there with all the sequins inside. Um, always lots of inspiration. I'm trying to see where my one is because I haven't actually looked yet. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I get really touched. You're seeing this as a first reaction, guys. I've just seen two projects and both of them have been inspired by my tutorials. That's so lovely. So Jane Kennedy in Bristol, thank you so much. And Elizabeth Feenham from Fire Facebook. That's so lovely. She was inspired by my wreath because I used the, the, the leaves, the autumnal leaves that were the free gift. 
I was inspired by Sam Clayton from Mixed Up Craft, plus the fabulous kit from issue 177. Oh, that's so lovely. And then this one here. I do love that box. And I love that she's made both sizes as well, because that mini one's really... <laughs> it always chokes me up. I'm such a silly one. Right, anyway, this one says, I love Sam Clayton's projects in issue 177. And I couldn't wait to make her stepper box. They are so cute. This is my version. And I also had a go at the large box too. Oh, thank you, Jane. That's so lovely. And they are amazing. This is cool. I love that huge. It's like a hessian bow. That looks absolutely amazing. And then there's more amazing. These are great. This, this was such a great kit with all the flowers. So many of you made some wonderful things with that. And you can get these back copies as well. So again, I'll share all the links below because they are so handy. And if you're someone who maybe, I always say, is just starting out or... You know, you don't like to spend a lot of money on craft supplies. These kit things are great. I mean, that's going to make you, how many cards did it say? Eight luxury shaker cards. That's brilliant. And this cost of this one is really competitive. This is one of the cheaper ones, 6 .99. So it's always, I think, really good. But where is my one? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I just show you how to make your own wrapping paper. So I created these little... Um, these boxes here with the wrapping paper on them and I used the Ulta New that was the Bells and Bows, it's lovely that one. I got it last year but it's still available, it's just such a lovely stamp set and I'll be pulling that out again this year. But that was my feature, all wrapped up, so it was really nice. And you're like next month's, next month's is, next month? No, it's every fortnight this one, it's, I think it's going into that one, it's amazing, I loved making that one. So that is the latest Paper Craft Essentials magazine. Okay, and then I picked up the Creative Stamping Magazine. This is issue 76. So let's just open this one. And the reason I wanted this one, although I nearly buy, I'm kind of starting to buy every single one of the magazines again. I did stop for a while because it was just taking up too much room, but this one is Pink Fresh Studios and it is lovely big images of your, well, it says Christmas florals, but you've got your poncettias here and I don't have nice big images of this and I'm seeing so much card inspiration with poncettia flowers. I thought I want some and then I saw that this was coming out. So I thought, yes, I'm having it. I also love the little houses. Anything with houses on is brilliant. I mean, that one does have a wreath on it, but certainly this one here would work great for a new home card. You even got here from our house to yours. Lovely little images here. And just all these sprigs, you've got the berries. It's just a really, really nice set. Let me take the packaging off. Okay, just so you can see it a bit closely. Look at all the detail, so much detail, but easy to color, you know, still nice blank areas. So you're really gonna see your, um, yeah, all your coloring with them. Love this one as well. Just think they're really nice and modern. And I think that's something, you know, it's Pink Fresh Studios. They are very modern with their stamps and contemporary feel to them. And I just think it looks lovely. Love all the, the lines through this one here. So that's that one. It's got a little bit of inspiration on the back there as well. And then you have your magazine. And again, lots of inspiration. See, this is the kind of thing I like. I love that look. That's been stamped using embossing powder. So it's gold embossing powder and then you, you color within and it's just such a lovely effect. So I'm definitely going to be giving that a go and I'll show you some more inspiration here. Love this one. It's the diamond fold card. See this everywhere. Uh, some more there. That's on like a craft card. So that looks lovely. And then here. Yeah, see they've used it there from our house to yours. That's really lovely. And there's that one there. And that's so quick to do, that doesn't take long. Even with just basic colouring, you don't have to do all your blending. You can keep the colouring quite blocked. So yes, I'm really pleased with that one. So that's the Creative Stamping issue 76. And then I also picked up the Crafts Beautiful. This is the October 2019 issue. So this one you have 25 festive stamps, plus a Fest Edition Craft Snowflake die, and trim craft papers on the back, which are here, turnover for 32 festive papers. Free 164 page coloring book worth 9.99. You've just got to pay postage. So that's something else you can get. And then there's a competition there and an interview with one of the designers. So let's just get into this one. First of all, there is the stamp set. Now the reason I was drawn to this one, if I just take the belly band off, that, um, Snowflake die is actually really sweet because it's smaller than the ones I've got, so it'd be nice to mix in with them. You can just see the nice little snowflake. But look at these stamps. <laughs> you've got the Christmas tree there and you've got the elf with his legs sticking out the top, so he's got stuck inside the Christmas tree. You've got lovely images of Father Christmas. But it's these that I like. I like the elves' eyes only until the 25th of December. 
and I love this one, Welcome to the North Pole, and you're going to see that on a really nice 3D project, which I keep hinting at. But I also like these because they're nice stamped as like a silhouette, so I can use them with some of my other ideas. You've got Santa on his sleigh, and just these boxes and things like that, they're just handy to just mix with other projects. So that's the stamp set. So let's have a little look at the papers here. So this is the Enchanted Christmas. It's 32 designer prints. So it's the trim craft ones and I'm on their design team. So it'd be quite nice to see what papers we've got here. So let's start from the back. So you've got that lovely like traditional colour there. This is great for masculine style cards. Again, great for background papers these. And not just for Christmas. I've said it before, this is this was like a golf print, reminds me of. Love that one with the holly. It's really nice. And then you've got your Nordic style. I recognise this one. I think some of these are maybe from Paper Addicts or they've evolved from that because some of them I do recognise. Love that one. That's great for, again, all year round. You've got the wood effect there with the snow. You've got your stag head. Again, more of a Nordic or Scandinavian feel. And stars. Again, great for any kind of card. It's nice with the craft. It's like wrapping paper, Christmas paper, that reminds me of. And it's actually, you could easily use that to wrap small gifts as well. That's cute. Love the houses. And there's your mistletoe. You got like your candy cane stripe and the candy canes, they're great, love those ones. And then that one there, so you can even use your top sheet as well. And then there's just a little welcome letter there. So that's the papers, they're always handy. And then you have a very colorful magazine here, full of inspiration. It's actually really thick, this one. 100 Christmas craft essentials, gadgets, papers, pens, and more. Okay, so that's the Crafts Beautiful, and like I said, that's issue, that's the October 2019 issue. And then last week on my Facebook page, I said that I joined the Kleiner Palmer Designs design team. So Kleiner is, or has been designing dies for other companies for many, many years, and she's been crafting for a long time, and she's now done her own collection. And it was really nice that she, um, she approached me and asked if I would like to you know, have some of her product and, and join the team. So I jumped at the chance. Now, I'll show you why in a moment because I think they're a really cool idea. But what she sent me is these magnetic sheets. So I've got A4 and I've got A5. So they work on your smaller machine and your larger. And these are your, they're called alignums. So they're your die cutting alignment tool. Okay, now you get two. So if I show you here, all right, that's the smaller ones. And then you've got your large ones here. And the thing I like about these as well is that she's done all of them in different colours. So it's really easy to see, like my 5x7 is that turquoise colour. So I will, you know, I'll get used to seeing that. You've got 5x5, five five, A6, 6x6, six six, 7x7, seven seven, A5, 8x8. Eight eight. So you, and I've got these lovely stencils. So I've got the heart stencil, that's the broderie anglaise. Um, probably see that a bit better there actually. Really detailed. And then that one there. And that's your doily. I like that it covers the whole thing actually. It's going to look lovely with my embossing paste and glitters and stuff on them. And then I've got these two dies, which are your nested heart and the nested doily. So they, co they coordinate with the stencils. But the nice thing about these is they're so big is you've got your outer cutting line and then all the detail cuts into the cardstock. This will cut it out. So I'm going to make a card that size with this. I think that's going to look really pretty. And again with the heart there, you've got your outer cutting line and then these all cut within. So I think they're going to be so detailed and lovely. Then I've got these, I couldn't believe how big they are. They are so nice and these fit the alphabet letters in perfectly. But just look at those. Now you can cut these in half and layer them up, which is what she shared on some of the cards that she'd made. But I think they're lovely. I like that they're just plain and then you can add everything to them. Lovely cutting decorative papers. So they're going to be really nice. And then these are the Lincolns. So basically, this is a modular system. So these are 44. This is your bold lowercase alphabet. And you'll see there, she's got a little dovetail. And they link in to each other so that you can get them perfectly aligned. So there's no kind of wonky <laughs> sentiments and things. So that's the 33 bold numbers. 
bold lowercase, and then you've got bold uppercase, and then you've got your shapers. So these here will allow you to have like a curve on your sentiment. So that's nice. And these here allow you to, again, get them perfectly lined up, but also a nice kind of gap between them. So you've got all of them, but you also get, like with these here, you get loads of spaces. So it's just, yeah, I'm gonna really look forward to playing around with this. Um, and yeah, just watch this face because I will be sharing tutorials. And if you watch Hachanda, where this is all available, and I'll link all of that below, you may see some of my cards as well. So thank you, Kleiner. And um, in due course, you will see some lovely projects that I'm gonna make using this product. And then I think it was the beginning of last week that I saw Paper Mill Direct done a call out for design team. And I thought, ooh, yes please. <laughs> so I applied and it was really nice. And this week I found out that I joined the team. So thank you, Paper Mill Direct. I am chuffed to pieces because now I get sent really nice plain card stocks. So that's like your bread and butter. That's like the main thing you need. They do so much over there. They do your envelopes, they do all your different card stocks, papers, there's loads and loads of different things. So I'll link them below, below and go and check them out. But they, so she sent me some glue there, which is always handy. But then this is the paper I've got. So I've got the buff, I like the name, 240 GSM. So she's wrote on these what they are. This here is the white smooth. This is gonna be, I think, amazing with my coloring. So using with my alcohol markers. Then I've got a mixed non-shed glitter pack. Let's have a little look at these colours. So I've got silver, red, or a real lovely Christmas red. That one's beautiful, look at the sparkle. And I've got that rose gold, Christmas green. Lovely, like baby pink. And then a gold, or like a bronze actually, it's more of a bronzy colour. So some real lovely glitter cardstock there. I'm gonna pop them all back in because I don't want these to get mixed up. Then I have, so she sent me um, a lot for Halloween because I'm working on Halloween projects. So she sent me some that were gonna work well with that. Now this is Charcoal Sparkle. I don't have anything like this. And just look at that. Oh my God, look at all the colors. You got everything, it's like rainbow sparkle on a black background. So she sent me those and they are just gorgeous. And it's, it's relatively smooth. You can feel it, but it's, it's not, it's non-shed again. That's definitely not coming off. But isn't that gorgeous? Gift boxes. Oh, can't wait. So yeah, that's charcoal sparkle. And then this one here is dark violet. That is a really good Halloween color. Love that one. Then this one here is black. And this is, this is a dark black. And it's not until you put it against another black. So this is my other black. And that is considerably different. That is now looking gray. It's a real lighter black. So this is the darkest black I have. So if you are looking for that black black, then I think this is gonna be a good one. It's really, really nice. And this is 240 GSM. So it's a perfect weight for your card blanks um, and for making you know, your 3D projects. Then we've got Mandarin Orange. I'm not gonna take that one out. You can see there how that looks. And then this is Navy Blue. And I've said this before, it's a color that I never have a lot of, but once I get it, I use it and I know I just don't seem to replenish it. So this is gonna look lovely with the Moonlight Song, the paper boutique pad that I've got, and also the nautical one that I've got in that collection as well. I think that's gonna really complement them well. And then I've got this is Fleck Craft. I've only ever used two other craft cards before in the past, so it's gonna be nice to try a different one. This is 250 GSM. And it's a fleck because you do have that fleck detail throughout. And then you've got that slightly different tone on the back. So yeah, really, really nice. So thank you, Charlotte. I'm gonna get cracking with these. And then lastly, I picked up a couple of bits from Craft Stash. So they've asked if I would like to try this product here. So this is Sussy Crafting by Emma Jewell. So she is one of the newer of the branded product that they have. So, you so yeah, I just thought oh, I'm gonna give it a go. Cause I don't, like I said before, I don't buy Halloween paper pads. I never really have. I've always looked for downloads online or just used stamps and kind of made do or just used black cardstock. But I thought, you know what, I'm gonna give these a go. So I've got here, that's a bundle there. So these will die cut these here. So you've got your skull, but I do like her play with the words. So she's got love at first bite and you've got the lips, stay spooky, my kinder, and then you've got poison or you've got watch your poison and then you've got happy Halloween. And I just think, do you know what? They're a little bit of fun. 
you don't have to use the traditional colours, you can do like hot pinks and yellows and stuff like that to make it look quite bold. You've got the little spider and stuff. So I've got some, yeah, I've got some fun ideas and I'm, I'm going to be doing a table kind of layout this year. So things like this are going to get used a lot for that. And then you've got a nice size spider here, but I thought about doing the spider in like glitter. I think that's going to look really cool. And I'm thinking I might do a ring as well. And then you've got the bat and you've got the skull and crossbones there. So they're fun. Then she's also done these. Here are your, this is a sticker pack. So in this one here, yeah, just loads of different stickers. If you've got it, haunt it, stay spooky. Um, you've got some strips there. You've got that one there with all the days of the week and then you've got Freaky Friday. So I'll, I'll use this one on my planner for the, the week, the run up to Halloween and the week after. And then you've got again the poison, keep it, creep it real. I put a spell on you. I'll be watching Hocus Pocus this year. Happy Halloween. Actually, when I was making some of my crafting products projects the other day, I was watching Adam's Family. I forgot how much I like that movie. And then here she's got these die cuts. So it's 22 pieces, 11 designs. If you don't want to do the dies and colouring with this set here, then you can use these because she's done it for you. So I don't think they are stickers, no, they're just on a nice thick card. So it's these images here and you've got the coffin but blown up. So I'll probably do a scrapbook layout and I will probably do, I'm thinking I might do a mini album actually with the papers. I think it's gonna look really good because I've got so many over the years of like Halloween fancy dress parties that I've been to and I went to Alton Towers over Halloween one year and I think if I pull out all those photos and put them in a Halloween album, I think that's gonna look really quite cool. And this is a bit more of a modern Halloween, which I like. So that's where I think I'm gonna use a lot of this. And then I'll show you the papers which I'll be using. So here you get 12 sheets and this is trick or treat. They're double sided. Again, they're gonna work really well for a mini album. I love that as like the cover. And then you've got this one here. I believe these are all Emma's sketches. They're her like images that she's done. I like the pink with the orange. And then you've got there the, the lips with the fang teeth. And that's the second one. She get two of each page. Love that one. Really, really like that. That would be actually good for the front cover, I think. Yeah, I think I might use that one instead. And then you've got the coffin with the rose. And then you've got these cutouts. If you've got it, haunt it, creep it real, stay spooky, love at first bite, trick or treat. They're going to look really cool as little journaling cards because you have got room there. You could, with a white gel pen, you can journal above here and you can journal here. So they will work nicely there. And then that's the same and that's the same. So yeah, that's going to be just enough papers, I think, for a nice mini album, Halloween mini album. So yeah, so that was the Sassy Crafting Halloween collection. Okay, and then it wouldn't be a good what did you get video without something from a charity shop and we scored big. <laughs> so first of all, picked up these. So these are Lindy's sprays. If you're into, I guess, more mixed media, then you may know of these. I believe they are American. In fact, they are American. And um, I've seen these from my scrapbooking earlier kind of days. This is, you know, a lot of people that I followed or follow still on YouTube use a lot of Lindy sprays. I've had one before, but a lot of mine are Cosmic Shimmer. And these ones here are your flat Fabios, I think it was. So all you do, these have never been used. They're brand new. You can still get them online and they are, well, they're about four to five pound per bottle. I got these for two pound. And all you do to activate them is you add boiling water and then you leave them to sit for 10 minutes and then you will have a highly pigmented spray color. So these are just really, really bright colors. There's no shimmer in these. But you can also use them for paints. You can just spray some onto your acrylic block and then use your paintbrush and use them with your stamping and stuff. You can see the colors there, they're on the fronts. So I just thought that was a bargain. So two pound for all of those sprays. So I will activate all of those later on and I will share any links to anything that I can find that I've brought in the charity shops. Cause like I said, I think these are still available but may not be those exact colors. And then these were like the gift that kept giving because they were in a basket. And honestly, I thought, when is it gonna stop? So I kept pulling one out after the other. And these are your Nouveau embellishment mousses. I've had one of these before and they are really, really nice for using with your stencils and they add texture and dimension, but with a metallic finish. 
So I'm going to be using these on cards. These are all still available online in stores and they were a pound each and they are 6 49 well between five and as, as much as seven pound each online i couldn't believe it and they are all brand new not one of them has been opened they've all got the foil on top so yeah i was like squealing inside and then we spoke to the lady at the the desk and said look who who is the lady donating all this this craft product because you know we've been coming in for the last few weeks and not every time has been successful but it's it's been that same kind of stuff all really good quality product and never been used so she was either a crafter that hoarded and never used anything um or she might have been a demo or some rep or something i just don't know but it's all in perfect condition so i have here i've got like a black uh, the colors are there but the one pound price tags on a lot of it you've got this beautiful blue if i just put them like this and you can see there the colors i love this this is like a peony color it said i remember reading that one this is a bronze or copper color in fact that's more of a copper there so that's more of a bronzy color blue black lilac or lavender this is like a golden yellow. You've got that green at the end there, like a pistachio color. Love that lovely minty color. They're just, I've got such a nice range. I couldn't believe it. So yeah, that was um, a, a huge score at the local charity shop. And then my mum done really well because this was all in the same thing, but I was grabbing all of the Nouveau and the sprays and she was grabbing all the dyes. So it's all that Sheena stuff again. And I got some of the embossing folders, I think either last week or the week before. So again, none of it has been used. It's all brand new in the packaging. So it's, this one is Home Life and you've got the teapot, cup and saucer. This one's beautiful, sweet peas. Sweet peas are just so lovely. Look at them, really nice sized dies. Then this one here was really good. She's got so excited about this because it's really nice and big. So I've got the small ones from the Secret Garden collection. These are slightly bigger ones. So they're going to look lovely with lots of flowers. You could actually have like sweet peas coming out of this and you've got a nice size little, um, you know, what's it called? Planter marker or whatever it is. And then these are 3D embossing folders where we knew, we all know how, you know, these are can be quite pricey. You know, you're looking at like six pound for a, a 3D embossing folder and they're a five by seven size. Again, my mum's a five by seven card person like myself. So this one's gorgeous with this. It's got a bit of a steampunk background there with the cogs but then on the front here you've got these beautiful large flowers so it's called clockwork oh daisies they are sorry clockwork daisies that was a pound all of this they were a pound each that one was 50p um this one here is autumn leaves so yeah was that the one yeah and that's the top part of it that's the bottom part so it's, you, it's like snow then you've got this one here with the butterflies this is elusive butterfly this one here is up, up and away, and you've got your hot air balloons, so it's the sky. And then this one here is cherry, cherry. I think that's really sweet. It's going to be lovely if you just highlight these in pink for your cherry blossom. Really, really nice. Again, never, ever been used. And then with that was this here, which was the spots and stripes so this is do cross paper mania it's their capsule collection i've had some of the capsule collection ranges before in the past they are really nice but with this one so she's got the 32 pack of 12 by 12 papers again brand new all in the packaging for two pound then got the matching buttons i think that was 50p that one didn't have a price so i think the lady scanned it through 50p and then these are beautiful they're a pound they're huge flowers look at these there we go um my mum's been crafting a long time and she's not the kind of person that has to get the latest craze she is you know happy using anything she just appreciates all kinds of you know patterns and colors and things like that plus i hand a lot of my stuff down to her so yeah these are just look at all these absolutely wonderful so you just get a couple there and like offset them and put a nice embellishment in the middle put some leaves behind them but look at these it's going to look lovely on gift bags. I said to her, you've got to make some lovely big gift bags with these great big. So there's two of each. So you can offset each one like so. Or add, you know, clash them. I mean, that's a lovely, lovely look there. I think they're brilliant. Really, really good quality. Lovely and thick. And there's tons in there. How many do you get? 32 pieces. They're 160 GSM. So they're so strong. 
so yeah so that was all my mum's charity shop finds so that's what i've got this week so i've got plenty of card stock which is going to be awesome to now kind of finish the rest of my halloween projects i'm going to plan a facebook live and i'm going to be doing these along with the christmas ones from the last issue and then yeah look out for tutorials featuring these because so yeah thank you for watching as always and i'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial see you later bye